Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to return to Poland and continue on with this Polish beer month that I'm doing for you and we've got another one of the kind of regional beers from Poland for you today. So we're going to go to Brother Chicken who are from a place called Chikinowski which is to about 100 kilometers or so to the north of Warsaw and we've got a lager beer to try tonight. So this one is the Chicken Wiebernet. I'm not sure if that's exactly the right pronunciation but I hope it's somewhere close. But this one is a lager beer. It comes in at 6% so for a lager it's actually one of the kind of heavier lagers that you're going to come across but it should be quite interesting nonetheless. This was another beer that was given to me by Dominica. So this is actually, it's the last one I'm filming of the regional beer that I have to review for you but there is another video that will come after this that I filmed previously and then we'll get back on to the craft beers but as I said in the last video I've been really impressed with the standard of the regional beers in Poland and like, and like I said too um, you wouldn't think that there's a big regional beer scene in Poland you think that's more of a German thing but Obviously, there seems to be some regional beers in Poland and they're pretty good, so I would recommend that you check them out. But anyway, as is usual with my beer reviews then, I'll tell you a little bit about Brother Chicken. Uh, if you do want to get straight to the tasting, just fast forward. All the usual websites are in the video description below. That's the brewery website, the link to my future reviews that maybe I can do from Brother Chicken. I need to see if I can get some other beers from these guys, but I'm not sure how easy that is. There's all the usual social media stuff down there, Facebook, Twitter and Untapped. Please follow me on there your support would be much appreciated and as I say do get in touch and let me know some other Polish beers and breweries that you guys would like me to have a look at and I do apologize in advance for any bad Polish pronunciations in this video Polish is one of the craziest languages you're going to come across it's very very difficult so I do apologize for to those of you in Poland for butchering your language but anyway to tell you about Brother Chicken so as I mentioned these guys are from Chikinov which is a small city of about 45,000 people in the Mazowiecki Void ship, which is about 100 kilometers or so to the north of Warsaw. But it's believed that the company was founded as Brother Chikinov in 1864 by the, by, in Kilinski by the Vilikov family, but it was soon taken over by the Zabrovki family who ran it until 1876. The Vilikovs were only in charge of the brewery for a few months apparently, but at this point in 1876 it was taken, taken over by Charles Micheld, and apparently he was a Scottish immigrant who was from the MacLeod family. But he renamed the company Brovar Gambrinus, and during his time the brewery symbol was actually a lion with a shield, and you can see that they've readopted that these days. But this apparently in these days really helped increase the brewery's profile. The lion had a shield with the initials GM on it. But in the late 19th century, they completed a new brewery building along with the new partner Morris Blumenthal and this really gave the, a kind of big burst to the local economy apparently. But Charles Michel died in 1906 and apparently the company came close to bankruptcy before it became a joint stock company in 1921. Despite this though the company remained in family hands and in the interwar years they were producing vinegars and soft drinks in addition to their beer. But throughout the late 1920s the brew house underwent a major modernisation with new equipment and buildings and during the Second World War it was actually taken over by the Germans and, and run as Brauerei Betriebs but later the brewery was pretty much destroyed by the Russians who came through on their way to Germany. Apparently they just ransacked the place and drank pretty much everything except the brewery war. But during the communist era in Poland the brewery belonged to the Warsaw Union of Breweries and it underwent modernisation starting in the, late in the early 1950s sorry, through to the late 1960s and from the 1970s it was known as Plant Number no. 3 of the Warsaw Union Brewery. But the brewery was once again privatised like many of them were in Poland in the 1990s but it was closed in 2001 for a period of time before it reopened in 2002 under the name Brovar Gambrinus once again. But in 2004 the name was changed to Brover Chikinov and then in 2007 it was changed once again to Brover Chicken, which is obviously what it remains as today. But they began to develop new recipes after this final name change and they were also added to the list of traditional Polish products by the Ministry of Agriculture and Development in Poland. So this brewery does have quite an illustrious history and they do seem to have a bit of a... Uh, a kind of a, a good swathe of meadows actually. A lot of their beers have been decorated by various organisations but in 2013 they became part of Bravaria Regional 
uh, Jakubiak, which is one of the regional associations of breweries in Poland. So yes, as I mentioned, it's another regional beer. So the other beers you can get from Brover Chicken include the Mocne, which is a strong beer, uh, Lagerowe, which is just a lager beer, Naz Jubilat, which means our jubilee, Exquisite, which um, I think was a light lager, I'm not sure. There was the honey beer, Pizniche, which is their wheat beer, Porter, and also Masiuva. So yeah, they do have quite a, a good range of beers. Hopefully I can get back to these guys and try a few more of them in the near future. Like I've said in my other videos of the regional beers, I've been very impressed with the standard of beer that comes out of Poland, even from the regional breweries. Like for example, I had the Juviets beer and I wasn't expecting much from that at all because it is a big brewed beer. But the Polish do seem to produce some really quite nice macro beers as well. The standard of the, the macro beers and the regional beers in Poland does seem to be pretty good so yeah and the craft beer obviously is pretty outstanding so I would recommend that you try some of the regional and craft beers in particular if you're interested in Polish beer but let's get on to the tasting of this guy now so as I said to you at the start of the video this guy is a 6% lager beer which is actually quite strong for a lager but I'll just let you have a little look at the artwork before we open this one up there you can see a nice castle on this one all of the, the Brovar Chichen labels actually are very similar to this one but this one has a castle on it they're all different depending on what style of beer it has or what style of beer it is I should say and this one is the Viburna as I mentioned the lager beer so it looks quite nice you can see the uh, Brover Chicken lion on there it doesn't have the oh, it has the initials GM on its shield there you can just see that so that's obviously a reference to the history when this brewery was called Brover Gambrinus and there you can see the nice chicken bottle cap so I'll be putting that into my little cup where I keep all the unique bottle caps that I have. So yeah, this guy should be quite nice. 6% lager. Without further ado, let's get it open and we'll get on with the tasting then. And thank you once again to Dominika for bringing this beer from Poland for me. She's actually got quite a good taste in, in beer. I was, I was quite surprised because, to be honest, she drinks more vodka than she does beer. But um, the beers that she's given me have been pretty good. So a big thank you to Dominika for bringing me some of these regional beers to try. It's been really cool. And obviously, when you try beers from a new country, it's really cool to learn about the, the diversity of styles and things like that. So a big thank you to Dominika for bringing these beers for me. So as you can see, this beer is poured exactly what you would expect from a lager. It's a pale, kind of golden straw colour. There's a quarter finger of a kind of bubbly white head on this one. It's not really frothy at all, but that's fading away to be just a very thin foamy layer. There's some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of the head there. Looks exactly as you would expect from a lager beer. So let's have a look at the aroma on this one and then we'll get stuck in. Yeah, so I mean, as you would expect, there's a little bit of malty sweetness in there. To be honest, it does lean a little bit more towards the malt than it does the hops, I think. So you've got that typical kind of corny sweetness that you would get from a, a lager beer. Maybe a bit of biscuity, grainy character, some ri slightly richer caramel, but not too much. It does smell more corny. Yeah, there's not much more to it than that. Maybe a little bit of pale malt and a little bit of bready character, but other than that, really not much coming out from that one. But yeah, it smells all right. There's some pale grassy hop, there's sort of pale um, kind of grassy hop character coming out of this one. Maybe it's a little bit floral, maybe even just a little bit earthy, you know, it's a kind of slightly noble hop character that comes out of this one. But yeah, I mean, it has everything you would expect from a lager, so you can't really say much more from that. So this is the Viborne from Brover Chichen in Chichen Chichenov in Poland in just 100 kilometers to the north of Warsaw. So let's get stuck into this beer. Thank you once again to Dominika. Nostrovia to those of you watching in Poland. Cheers. Slanje. Yeah, it's, it's all right. Yeah, it's quite a good pose. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I know there's a lot of beer reviewers who would slate a beer like this. I mean, on Rate Beer, this beer was rated something like, I think it was about 20 overall, but then 92 in the style of a lager beer. And as I said with some of the other beers that I've done, I think it was the Zwietz one I said it with, the macro beer from Poland is actually pretty good, I think. In terms, it's not fair to judge these kind of beers in the same category as you would 
like you know like Pinta or Perun or some of these Polish craft breweries it's not really fair to judge these beers in the same category as the craft beers there's a lot of people who just say as you know craft beer snobs I guess you like would just say no these beers are rubbish but you know in terms of uh, macro lager beers that I've had this one is actually pretty good so if you're willing to go into these beers with an open mind and just say you know I'm I'm not expecting that from this beer it is a kind of you know I will think about this beer a bit differently, then this is quite good. I mean, in terms of the kind of macro lager beers that I've reviewed for you on the channel, this one is a pretty good one. Yeah, I mean, it's actually a bit stronger in flavour than some of the macro beers I've come across before. So yeah, in, ter in terms of the kind of mass-produced pale lager, this one's actually pretty good. So in terms of the, the flavours of this beer, I would say you know, the middle of your palate's blanketed with this kind of just a pale malt base. It's really it's quite simple. There is a little bit of sweetness on top of that, some kind of grainy character. There's a bit of the typical corny flavours that you expect from these big produced laggers. You know, it's actually quite interesting because most of these bigger breweries, the regional breweries in Poland, their porters and their dark beers are rated very high on rate beer, but the lagers and the lighter beers aren't rated so high. So it's quite interesting actually. But as I said, for a pale lager beer, this one's actually pretty good. You know, for one of these mass produced lager beers, this is actually probably one of the better ones you're going to come across. So yeah. As I said, that pale malt malt base, a little bit of caramel, sort of corny character, some some cereally graininess in there too. You can feel that building on top of the tongue. Around the edges of the palate, you've got the, the grassy hops, the smooth grassy hops that are there. They're a little bit floral at the back of the palate and around the front curve of the tongue too. But yeah, I mean, it's quite simple in flavour. This beer is, is kind of intended to be a sort of lighter session beer. There is a little bit of alcohol warmth from it too, just because it's 6% and obviously there's not probably not too much malt in there. There's a lot of corn and things goes into these big produced beers. And of course that doesn't mask the alcohol warmth so well, but that said, perhaps it's the, the higher alcohol content that gives this one a little bit more flavour. But certainly, as I said, in terms of a macro produced lager, you know, it's it's actually one of the better ones you're going to come across. It's, it's, it's drinkable and that's what this beer is designed to be. It's a kind of nice, light, sessionable beer. For a summer's day, it's pretty good. That's exactly what this beer is intended for. In terms of the mouthfeel, it's light bodied. It's got quite crisp carbonation to it actually. There's a little bit of burn from it from the alcohol like I was saying because there's a bit less malt and more kind of corn and things in this one. So you can feel the alcohol warmth a bit more. Malty sweetness like I said, a little bit of dry character from the graininess of the beer as well. But some uh, some smooth hops and just a little bit of dryness around the back sides of the palate and the front curve of the tongue there. But overall, I mean, it does the job. It does what it's intended to. It's a nice kind of fairly light sessionable pale lager beer. So. Yeah, um, in terms of uh, in rating this one, I would say it's probably one of the better macro laggers I've come across. It's fair to say that about this one. But if you're expecting something like you know a double IPA or, a, or some of these imperial stouts, if you're expecting like a sort of craft take on a, a lager beer, a pilsner beer, this one isn't really it. But if you go into it with an open mind, you knowing that it's a a macro beer, you know it's better than some of these things like Heineken or uh, or you know Heineken Amstel. Bitburger, you know, it's it's bit well. Bitburger is actually fairly good. It's probably kind of up that kind of standard too. But just go into it with an open mind, see what you think. So yeah, um, I hope you've enjoyed this beer review. It's my first. It's another one of the, one of the kind of two macro beers, I guess, I'm going to do in this Polish series. You're going to see another one of the Monk Brewery beers tomorrow, and then we're back on to the craft beers for the rest of the series. So I hope you're enjoying this Polish beer series. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on this beer and do let me know some of your favourite Polish beers and breweries that you guys would like me to review. I hope now that I've kind of popped the cherry with Polish beer that I get a lot of suggestions and things coming in. It'd be great to review Polish beer a lot more regularly. So I thank you for watching. Until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Go and check out Brover Chicken and try their Viborny beer. Do let me know your own thoughts on it below. And yeah, I'll catch you soon with my next beer review. I hope you're enjoying this Polish series. Do go and check out all the social media and I will catch you soon with more beer reviews. Slanja just now. Nastrovia.